Unsafe passing tops the list of safety concerns for truckers traveling highways 11 and 17 in the north. The Ontario Trucking Association has released the results of a survey in which nearly all respondents identified persistent safety concerns when driving through northern Ontario. Lee Noonan has the details. The Ontario Trucking Association polled truck drivers and fleet operators in the province about highway safety in the north. A vast majority, 96%, said, look, you know, as professional drivers and fleets operating in the north, we, we do have, you know, some concerns uh, about some issues up north, particularly on highways 11 and 17. The survey asked truckers to identify safety concerns and possible solutions. The top concerns were unsafe passing and a lack of rest areas, with roughly 84% of respondents saying they are concerned with the passing behaviours of other drivers. The rest of the top five included poorly trained truck drivers, a lack of safe passing areas and unsafe trucking fleets. In a virtual tie, the top three solutions were increasing the number of passing and climbing lanes increasing the number of rest areas and better training for truck drivers, with 79% of respondents suggesting those fixes. The truckers also want to see more oversight for unsafe fleets and more heated washrooms for drivers. Our goal is to take what we've learned from this and, and sit down with, with our road safety partners, the Government of Ontario and a number of other folks over the course of 2024 and start to um, start to figure out how we how we address some of this stuff. Wood is adamant that the government and OPP have been good partners in road safety, but says the effort to make highways safer for truckers is an evolving process. Meanwhile, Thunder Bay Superior North MPP Lise Vaujois has been a vocal critic of the government's track record on northern highways. She was recently joined in Thunder Bay by the NDP leader Marit Stiles to promote her party's solutions which also include more rest stops and passing lanes and improvements to driver training. Require that commercial driver training schools are audited at least every two years and that the auditors themselves are fully trained. Require that the people teaching drivers are certified as driver trainers. That's not the case right now. Increase the number of hours of training to match the recommendations of experienced drivers in the field. While Vaujois' training recommendations relate mostly to enforcement and accountability, Woods wants the government to start paying for driver training. It's no different than, you know, some government supports that would be afforded to other trades, whether it's, you know, carpenters, electricians. Lee Noonan, TBT News.